Heidi ho there, young millennials out there in YouTube land. Bobby here today. Friends, I think I'm going to title this video, Attention, Millennials, Here's How You Become a Millionaire, okay? All right, this is not no quick, easy, get-rich-quick scheme, okay? And you're going to have to actually roll up your sleeves and work for it. But I'm going to show you how you can make an investment uh, when you're young, in your 20s, and maybe even before you're 20, and actually let it sit there and it will become a million dollars possibly by the time you're ready to retire okay so what I'm talking about is within a one to two year period I want you to get a job and save some money I'm talking about some big money while you're still living at home with your parents okay and you're gonna put this money into a Roth IRA and you're gonna have it invested in some growth mutual funds okay some good growth mutual funds that could possibly gain you about 12 percent interest okay over the long haul i'm going to show you how putting this investment in can actually possibly become a million dollars by the time you retire so let's start with what i've got here on the screen well let's start with first of all between the ages of 18 and 25 okay there's a good chance you're still living at home with your parents all right Either, um, now if you're off at college, and I hope you're not creating a lot of college debt, okay? There's ways of going to school without creating a lot of college debt. Um, I hope you're, think you can actually still possibly do this too, maybe right after you get out of college. Um, or another thing that you could be doing is going in the military. A lot of opportunity out there in the military. But, or you could just get up and go get a job, okay? This is mainly for the guys who our guys and gals that are just sitting at home eating all the food out of the refrigerator playing video games I want you guys to get up and get a job okay so let's talk first of all about what this money can grow into okay now first of all I'm, I'm gonna start with a number of eleven thousand dollars okay and I'll tell you why I picked eleven thousand here in just a moment okay and we're going to put that in the calculator at an interest rate of 12%, okay? We're gonna let that baby ride for 40 years. So if you are 20, it'll be when you're 60. If you're 25, it'll be when you're 65, and so on and so on, okay? You're not ever gonna add anything else to it, okay? Just a, a one-time contribution at 12% interest for 40 years, compounded monthly, let's just see what that adds up to okay so your eleven thousand dollars if you let it sit there for 40 years is worth 1.3 million dollars wow okay so let me talk just a minute about a Roth IRA and the importance of actually putting it in a Roth when you put money that you've already paid taxes on into a Roth IRA, it gets a chance to grow tax-free. And when you start to cash it out later on, you're cashing it out tax-free, okay? That's why it needs to be in that. And also, uh, the equity index fund, the high growth fund that I'm talking about is something that's gonna be along the lines of the S&P 500, okay? So let's pull up the last almost 100 years of what the S&P 500 index has done, okay? This is the top 500 com uh, companies in the United States. <coughs> and this stuff gets traded on the stock exchange every day. And But you can see, we're going all the way back to 1930, where the Great Depression hit. As you can see, that would not have been a good time to be invested in this. Maybe right afterwards would have been good. But anyway, that was when it hit rock bottom. But you can see as this went over the years, there's been a steady climb. You put the money in there, you forget about it. This should continue going up, okay? Because look at all the things that's happened over, over the time. The biggest, the second biggest thing that we ever had happen happened in 2008, the housing crisis. And it didn't drop all the way to the bottom. Yeah, it dipped down, but it bounced right back. We can look right here around 1980, okay? That's when the economy was poor. Interest rates were so high that people could hardly even buy a house. It's like 15, 17% interest rate. 
And then that was the end of the Carter years and the beginning of the Reagan years. And after that, we got right on track. Things have been going up ever since, okay? So you can look at the track record of this and you can almost, um, you know, you can predict things based on the past, okay? So you need to find you a mutual fund that kind of resembles the S&P 500. And there are funds out there that actually perform a little bit better. The S&P has actually performed about 10% growth for the last 70, 80 years or whatever. But there are some that have long track records that perform at around 12%, okay? So that's where you want your Roth IRA to be invested in, okay? So now, your next question is probably, Bobby, okay, I have no skills. All I can do is go out and get a minimum wage job, okay? Well, how, how can I come up with $11,000 in a one to two year period, you know, based on that, okay? Well, I'm going to show you. Let's just do the math here. Okay, minimum wage is $7.25. Let's multiply that times 40 hours, okay? And who says you got to work 40? Shoot, you can work 60 when you're young like that. That equals $290 a week times 52 weeks. That's $15,080, okay? Right there. And you're gonna say, well, I don't get to take all that because the taxes are gonna come out of it. Okay, you're gonna probably bring home at least 80% of that. I can guarantee that at that income level. So you're still gonna bring home $12,064 a year. And what I'm asking you guys, I think, because what you can put into a Roth per year is $5,500 per year, okay? But you gotta make at least $5,500, okay? So I would put this like a two year plan. Go to mom and dad and say, mom and dad, I have decided that I would like to live here another year or two before I move out and I'd like to go ahead and fund my retirement. And your parents are gonna look at you and are gonna say, what the heck happened to my kid? The kid that used to sit on the sofa and play video games all the time. Well, they're probably going to say, well, that's cool. Well, and, and you can actually add to it. Say, mom and dad, I want to pay rent. I want to pay you a couple hundred dollars rent a month because you'll have money to do it. So that'll make them feel great. At least you'll be covering the groceries that you're eating. Okay. Go ahead and stay there a couple years and do this. Have, have a goal, you know, have a goal that you're going to fund your retirement. Okay. All right, let's go back over here a minute. Let me show you the reason that you want to fund your retirement. Right here is a chart. I believe this is Money Magazine to put this out. At retirement age, okay, 33% of our population have no retirement savings at all. And 23% have less than $10,000. That is not going to take you very far. 10% have 10k to 49k. That's not going to take you very far at all. None of the, none of this right here. Actually, these people up here, 300k or more, 200k, these people might make it, okay? So, here's your opportunity to actually have a million dollars. Even if I'm half wrong, where are you gonna end up with a half a million dollars? That's still gonna be more than the majority of the population at retirement age is gonna have, okay? And you might say, well, a million dollars ain't gonna be worth very much in 40 years. Well, the people that tell you that are probably, there's some of these people right here. That's, that's them right there that never bothered to save and that's why they don't have anything, okay? So you can do this. You can do this in a, in a two year period and go ahead and fund your retirement. So when you turn, when, when you turn 65, you'll, you'll have money. You know, you won't have to depend on the government to take care of you. Okay. And there's something else I was going to say. I think I'm about to forget it. Um, anyway, there is a Bible verse that I found last week and I thought it, kind of pertain pretty well to what we're talking about here is Proverbs 10 4 okay lazy hands make for poverty 
but diligent hands bring wealth, okay? So get out there, roll up your sleeves, find your job, and, and, and work, make you some money. Save that money up. And um, for two years, I know, I know the point I was trying to make. I, I, I got, I'm back to it now. I remember what I wanted to say. Because after this opportunity, opportunity that you have when you're young, okay, you're not going to have as much opportunity when you get older. Because when you get older and you are on your own and you have a house payment, possibly a car payment, although I hope you guys will uh, not buy new cars. That's another story. That's a whole other video right there. But um, you'll have kids. You'll have uh, repairs to do around your house. You will be lucky to be able to find 10% of your savings to go toward retirement for the rest of your life, okay? And so take advantage of the opportunity that you have right there in front of you at a young age. I'm going to show you something. Let's go back to this calculator. Here's the point I was trying to make. A man at 50 years old, okay, if you wait till you're 50, all right, that's about my age right now, and you put in that maximum of 5,500 a year into your Roth IRA, okay, we're going to just leave it at 12%, we only got 15 years until we retire, okay, and we're going to put, we're going to put 5,500 a year in here every year for 15 years, okay? Not just the one time $11,000, you know, that you're gonna put in in the beginning in your 20s and forget about it. So $458 a month times 12 is 5,500, okay? We're putting this in as a monthly figure, okay? So let's hit calculate. Let's see how much a man would have if he started at 50 and he's got to put 5,500 in every year until he's 65, okay? How much is he going to have? $264,000 is all you're going to have, okay? All right, bring the camera back around. Guys, right now, you've got the biggest thing on your side, and that's time. So get out there. Get off the couch. Go get a haircut. Okay, find some nice clothes, tuck in your shirt, go out there and get you a job, even if it's somewhere making minimum wage, all right? Hey, look on, look at the videos on my channel, okay? I show a lot of videos on how to do automotive repair, things like that. You might actually be able to go watch some videos and go out and actually get you some type of skilled job, maybe as an apprentice starting off, you might make 10 or $12 an hour, okay? But get out there, get you a job, save you some money while you got the opportunity, okay? And, and and another thing that's going to come come out of this is going to be great. After this is over with, you save the money. You've got used to working. You got used to getting up every morning, and having a purpose, and getting out there and being part of society. Okay, so guys, I wish you the best. So get out there, get busy, get that retirement taken care of when you're young. See you next time, guys. Take care.